Hello, hello. Um, I know I haven't been on for a minute, and I'm sorry. Um, I love everyone. Um, a lot of stuff going on, okay? School starting again. Um, it's been really busy. But I wanted to get on for someone <clears throat> and do a read. I want to keep this kind of simple. Um, so I'm just going to use the regular tarot. So we'll just see what comes out for you if you want. There's something about an emperor in reverse. Um, it's not happy. Okay, someone. Uh, this is a controlling individual in your life. They're not happy, whoever this is. They're either physically or spiritually trying to control you. This person is trying to keep you from your trim flame or a blessing of yours or something. This person is trying to lie to you, manipulate you, keep you in illusion so that you will bow to their will, whoever this is. Yeah, this person is hiding their true intentions. This person is hiding what they really want out of this, which is basically control because they're unhappy with themselves, whoever this person is. This person has been spying on you, um, possibly with divination or something. This person's been spying on you. This person is like resting on their manipulation right now. It's like they're, they feel like their manipulation is going to plan. Um, but this person is still an unhappy person. So it really doesn't matter if they get your way with you or not. They're still going to be unhappy just because that's who this person is. It's a very controlling, narcissistic person who's not happy with themselves. So they don't want to see you happy. Okay. There's been a judgment called on this though. God, this table in my nails. There's been a judgment call. Yeah. The, the balancing act that this person has been putting you through is ending. Yeah. Yeah, there's someone else that you are interested in. You may have a crush. Um, this person may be at a distance from you, possibly. But this person, you feel like, um, completes you. Yeah, you have a big crush on this person. This is someone that you're, like, one of your options that you're interested in. You have a crush on this person could be a queen of cups or you could be a queen of cups this person is like you've been in illusions about this person possibly you may have thought this person was like a heartbreaker or like a bad energy but this person isn't a bad energy you come to find this out in some way yeah and you're moving ahead you're turning your back on it, whoever this controlling person is yeah this person's mourning or you could be mourning this situation but it, either way it's ending yeah, because you've won whatever victory it is over this person. Yeah, this could be a queen of wands. This could be someone with fire in their chart. Or this could be someone, um, so this is very dominating, okay? Yeah, um, the truth has come into you, though. Like, you, you intellectually understand what's going on in the situation, and you know the next steps necessary. Yeah, you know you've got a new beginning. Yeah, like, you know. There's some kind of, like, you're going to get, you're going to get away from this controlling individual who keeps hiding their intentions and you're going to move forward to some kind of crush that you have. Yeah, this is going to be a tower to this controlling person. Yeah, because there's, there's actually a lot of love here that you have for whoever this crush is. Empress, you may feel like this is your counterpart. <clears throat> King of Swords, you feel like this person is very abundant, very logical, very, um, you admire this person. Whoever this crush is, you admire them a lot. Yeah, that's why you're walking away from this controlling person because you're tired of being in this heartbreak energy that this person keeps putting you through. Okay. Yeah, okay. Bitch. 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 No fucking way, man. I pulled that early. You saw it. Yeah. Something about someone collaborating with someone is going to be like their person. Like, this could involve them working together as well. I don't know. You could both work in the same um, field or something. But whatever it is, it, this person is your blessing. That's wild that that came out like that again. Yeah, see, this person is a crush that you have. You've been, like, meditating on this person, like, thinking about this person a lot, whoever you are. Queen of Swords, you feel like this person is a truth teller. You feel like this person is transformative. You feel like this person is your blessing. You feel like, you feel like this person, you see how she's, like, leading, like, her hands out? You feel like this person is going to lead the way through whatever doors you need to go through or something. Like, you feel like this person is going to help guide you into your blessings. Yeah. 
This is just dreams you have in your head right now. Right now you're just being a hermit about the situation. But you're going to come out of that. You're going to send a message to this crush of yours. Because you feel like you could have a, a marriage with this person. Um, you felt very bound up and confused about whether or not you should reach out to this person. It's something about communication has been really difficult for you. But you've been nurturing whatever these dreams, fantasies are that you have with this person. Because you are watching this person possibly. Yeah, you may know this person is resting right now, replenishing or whatever. And you're giving this person space, but you do miss this person. Yeah. You feel like um, you both need rest possibly from all this shit going on. Or you feel like this person needs rest from all this shit going on. You want to give to this person in a good way. Like you're not selfish with this person. Like you, you care about their well-being above your own. King of Cups, you do. You're a very loving person. And you're nurturing this person in a way. Yeah, you're helping this person come out of illusions. You're helping this person come out of lies that this other person has been putting them under. Yeah, this person has been just dealing with a lot of shit, okay, from this controlling energy. It's been a lot of shit this person has been having to go through, but you're going to help this person come out of it, or you are. You're energetically helping this person bounce back. Yeah, because this person, you see this person as like... You see this person as like your wife or your husband. You see this person as like the person that you're grow like old with, okay? Yeah, you think this person is very stable. Again, you've been nurturing it. This has been very slow, but you have been nurturing it. And it is a very grounded, uh, down-to-earth connection that you two have. You've been watching this person. Yeah. You may dream about this person or you may have daydreams, fantasies. You think about this person a hell of a lot. But this controlling energy that's been put on this person has been like falling down this wheel yeah but this person is going to reject an offer from the past and they're going to come into a victory with someone new like I said this um crush person that they want to like plan with okay that's what's going to happen they're going to collaborate with this person and they're going to come out of this heartbreak they're going to walk away from it and heal so that's good but all right um that's yeah because whoever that controlling person is they're just fucking sneaky and if they're trying to sneak in real quick with like love and sex they're they're just being controlling like they are. They're using these things as ammo to control you, whoever you are. Yeah, so continue nurturing whatever this new thing is for you. This new crush that you have that you're manifesting in because it's coming in. It's like destined, okay, that you manifest this in. So keep working on your manifestations because it's coming in. But all right, I love you guys very much. I just wanted to get on and do a quick um, read for someone, and I hope that it helps you. Um, I'll try to be back on later, okay? All right, I love you guys.